Hi there, I'm Charles Ellison, Civil 3D designer and trainer at AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com. Now today, we'll be looking at transparent commands in Civil 3D 2020. These Civil 3D specific commands work on top of AutoCAD commands. Have you ever panned or zoomed in and out of your drawing while in, say, the line command? This might give you an idea of the power of Civil 3D transparent commands. Transparent commands are the only commands you'll find in Civil 3D that are Civil 3D specific, that come right out of the box with a toolbar type of interface. So you'll find that the transparent commands by default are on the right hand side. Now we may be familiar with transparent commands to some extent. Transparent commands refer to commands that can run within another command. An example is zoom. You can be in the line command and then begin to zoom. Really what you're doing is calling the zoom command without ending the line command. Civil 3D transparent commands must be called within another command. Now zoom of course can run transparent or not. Transparent commands for Civil 3D must be called. So notice if I'm in the line command, it asks for the first point. And the transparent commands really provide coordinate control. And we can get coordinates in different ways for whether it's an AutoCAD command or even Civil 3D. So you can provide a coordinate from an existing point using bearing and distance. And I'm going to do that by typing in L for line and then go into my transparent commands and I'm going to click this second button right here that's bearing and distance. So I click that, click a point, and then I can start typing in my quadrants and I can type in my bearings and distances. You can also use alignments, or in this case, we're going to use a profile view station and elevation. So go ahead and type in the L for line. And then let's go ahead and click on this transparent command right here, profile station from plan. So we click that, click our profile view. And then it asks to specify a station along the baseline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in 126. And you see how it snaps to station 126. Now if I want to just arbitrarily just type in an elevation, it asks to specify an ele elevation right here. If I want to type in, let's say, 250. Okay, and then it asks for the next station. Let's type in 200. See how it snaps to 200? And then it asks for an elevation again. Let's type in 262. See how it created my line? Let's type in the next station. Let's type in 300 snaps to the 300 station and then let's go ahead and type in for an elevation 265 see how it shows up in 265 well now I'm done with specifying a station so I'm gonna go ahead and hit escape I don't end the line command I'm simply ending the transparent command of profile station and elevation and notice now my line has begun using the coordinate of where the profile view currently sits, providing station and elevation. So very powerful tools that are really often overlooked that we can use for regular AutoCAD commands as well as Civil 3D to identify a coordinate and work with the information using Civil Geometry or Civil Objects. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel.
Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.